What's happening and good morning. Today we're doing another media day post European Championships. You may remember the video I'd done previously where I was about a week out of European Championships and I'd done a, a media day just on the lead up to that. So this is just kind of talking about European Championships, what happened and what I want to achieve in, um, in future competitions and the Olympic Games. So this one is in collaboration with Indeed. They are an Olympic sponsor of uh, Team Ireland, so I am an ambassador for Indeed uh, in that in that sponsorship. So it's a it's a great company to work with, and uh, I'm proud to be an ambassador. So essentially, what these media days are are just interviews with a bunch of different um, media outlets. It's actually a lot handier now because of COVID. It's just all over the computer and all over Zoom and phone calls and stuff. So it's actually a lot easier to do, especially when you're just coming back from competition and you want to spend a bit more time at home. Uh, because previously, uh, or pre-COVID, I used to have to go to one location and just sit in, um, sit in on individual interviews um, and then sit at a big round table with a bunch of journalists which it was great to see the journalists don't get me wrong but this is just a lot easier because it allows me to spend more time at home and it's just a lot more efficient and, and on time you know people always ask me if doing interviews a lot bothers me in any way or um, annoys me especially coming off the the back of a loss at a competition and um, my answer is always no because it really doesn't bother me because of the way that I frame the interviews so I do the interviews for the younger gymnasts to see the headlines of me being positive because I am generally a positive person so when I project a positive image like that and a younger gymnast sees that even though a competition didn't go my way that I'm still going to continue training, still going to continue to work hard that will hopefully spark a little bit of inspiration in their gymnastics and in their life and uh, that's why I, I really don't mind doing interviews because I've always got in my head that there's, there's young gymnasts watching and reading everything I'm doing because that's exactly what I done when I was younger I watched all of the headlines I watched all of the the TV interviews of gymnasts talking after competitions win or lose and I gained inspiration from it so I feel like I should do the same watching a few of your vlogs speaking of this and when I started watching them I was like who's editing this for like these are really good and then at the end of one of them you were like oh actually I found the editing pretty easily and uh, you're not too bad at the, the vlogging as it turns out on both sides of the camera yeah, it's just, I, I don't put too much effort into the editing of the vlogs, it's just like one background track um, of yeah. low fidelity music and then just kind of cutting the, the the video clips, but it, I, I want it to be like that, I want it to be quite authentic in its uh, manner and uh, want people to get as, as pure of an image of me as possible, so it's just, just me going into the gym, it's no like fancy music and like cutting into different animations or whatever um, for one that that's way too much effort for me <laughs> and then two it's um, it's just a lot it's a lot more authentic and I myself like like watching authentic YouTube videos and um, I feel like I get a, a sense of the person a lot more when there's when there's less editing in the videos are you used to hearing Irish sports people even if they are the best in the world or are potentially a world leader down their chances because they're afraid or, or something. I, what, what, why do you think that is it, that, that Irish people tend to, to play down their chances a little bit, even if they are totally justified to say, listen, I am the best? I think it's a little bit of a weak mentality to do that because it's almost given them like a, a fallback so that, mm -hmm. so that when maybe something doesn't go their way in a competition, then it's like, oh, well, I was just happy to make the final, as I said before this competition. Whereas they, they really wanted the, the medal, the gold medal, um, and that's something that I'm not afraid to say because that's something that I'm always aiming for. I, I'm completely honest when I talk about uh, winning gold medals and uh, talking about my gymnastics full stop. And uh, I think that is definitely becoming a thing of the past though, kind of downplaying your performance. I'm hearing the Irish hockey girls sitting beside me in, um, in like say live press conferences or whatever and saying, yeah, we're going there to win gold. And I'm turning around and being like, yes, that's what we should be doing. Another beautiful day on planet Earth.
So this is who Finn was barking at yesterday. And I'm waiting for a run now. Oh, see, you, see you in a bit. Just gonna do a little five kilometer run again today. Take it at a moderate pace. I went super easy yesterday just to see how my body coped with it and it coped fine. So I'll, I'll pick up the pace a little bit today and see how I fare for tomorrow. So that was that five kilometer run done in 20, just over 27 minutes. It's hard enough like, um, more so on my legs and hips. I know people feel the run in different ways, but the first thing that kind of gets fatigued for me is actually my hips. Um, so I don't know, maybe that's because I'm a little bit more flexible around my hips than most and uh, that kind of cushion the blow or something like that, but it's interesting. I'd like to know what you guys feel most on a run, if you guys do run. Uh, just leave a comment below and tell me like what is the first thing that you feel is sore in the morning after a run, because I can tell you my hips are going to be sore tomorrow. But I enjoyed the run anyway, and I'll probably go on another one with my mate tomorrow, because it's a good way to keep fit. Just done a little work right there, uh, just my standard core some elastics and a nice big long stretch out similar to what i done yesterday but uh, yeah just kept it kind of light today actually not too much and now i'm going to go wash my car this is my dad's paddle board and he never uses it i definitely want to get out on it sometime this week here's my first pommel horse that i um used to practice on in my back garden my golf clubs. I'll be taking them to the driving range hopefully soon. Just took the car, shampoo and conditioner in there so it's hair is nice. So I really want to get this framed because this was the leotard that I wore for the Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast when I won Northern Ireland's first ever gymnastics medal by taking gold on pommel and uh, it's got a, an interesting story behind it so myself and my teammate Ewan McIntyre were the only two gymnasts competing at that Commonwealth Games and um, about a week before we, we left we found out that Gymnastics Northern Ireland hadn't got us a, a gymnastics kit to wear um, so you know frantically we were trying to find a correct kit to actually get to compete in the Commonwealth Games in and um, we actually had to get them shipped out to Australia so that's how close we cut it but it's just a gentle reminder to myself that before these achievements and before these results that we had to we had to make our own way, uh, myself and Ewan had to buy that kit for ourselves and um, put in the effort ourselves but now, you know, right now I'm designing kit for the Olympics and uh, that's just a crazy turn of tables that, that um, has come our way since before them results happened we were having to frantically buy our own kit but now I, I'm actually designing my own kit for the Olympic Games and that's, that's a pretty crazy reminder to have. Um, so definitely gonna get that framed oh my god I need to shave that's horrendous anyway that's the end of the video uh, it's quite a short one not much I got up to today just a bit of a media day and um, went for that run done a bit of training uh, then washed the car it's quite quite a chilled out day for for my liking if you haven't already been able to tell I cannot sit still for my life so I always have to be doing something. But anyway, now it's time to sit down, edit this video, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.